Again, in fact, when people ask me, if you rule the world, what one thing would you do? I think about that a lot. Uh, I really, well, uh, if any of us rule the world, what one thing would we do? And that would be easy. It would be to prioritize the education of women and girls. It would make the biggest difference, not only in their lives, their families, their communities, but to the world. Because we truly do believe that when women succeed, America succeeds, or any country succeeds, but globally, uh, we, we all succeed. And so that's why I'm really especially honored to receive this award. I was so um, challenged as well as impressed by the array of concerns that the Prime Minister put forth. It's hard to prioritize so many things, except they fall into the categories of security, economy, and the rest. And as the distinguished Prime Minister wished you well in the deliberations and that have taken place so far and what will come next, uh, it is uh, my honor to join him in wishing you well in all of that. So many things that we talk about in the time of COVID, in the time of climate crisis, in the time of cybersecurity, in the time of challenges, as our distinguished president mentioned, of, of, uh, of China coming forth. So it is an interesting time. And I'm always about time, the age of discovery, getting back to Portugal and the age of discovery. Who would succeed were those who could count time, or they could do latitude by the stars, but they couldn't do latitude. It was hard to do latitude. So if you went someplace and you found something, discovered something, you could see what star it was under, but, but you couldn't, longitude, it, it was hard. So who could ever discover how to, a clock could really put down markers, latitude and longitude. So I've been very interested in time. And so uh, when our founders in our country Mr. Connolly and my colleagues have heard me say this again and again. At the beginning of America's revolution, in the dark days of the revolution, forgive my friends from UK, they've heard me say this too, in the time of our revolution, Thomas Paine said, the times have found us. The times have found us. Found them to declare independence, fight a war, win a war, establish a country. The Times found them, found Lincoln when he kept our country together, found our allies in World War II to protect freedom and democracy and have peace, a peaceful world. Well, not to place ourselves in the category of greatness of all of those people, but understanding the urgency of the challenges spelled out by the speaker by the President, by the Prime Minister, and by all of you coming here for that purpose. The times have found us. The times have found us to save our democracies. The times have found us to save our planet. The times have found us uh, to ensure that the blessings of liberty and democracy are there on a planet that is intact as we pass it on to future generations. So thank you all for the time you take, the commitment you make, the ideas you present, the focus you place on security, on economy, and on governance. Uh, and good luck to you in your final deliberations. We all look forward to the statements that, that you will make. And as a member of the House of Representatives, I thank you again for recognizing the extraordinary leadership of Jerry Conley, Mr. President. Thank you all so much. <laughs>